Hi, dear viewers. Today, I'm joining a conversation with Elias A., the author of Gift of the Sky God, and quite a lot of other books that he has authored. It's quite a pleasure to have Elias on the show today. How are you doing, Elias? I'm doing good. Good, good to be here. I'm here. Yeah, it's my pleasure to have you on the show today. I'm excited. So, Elias, could you tell us about your book, Gift of the Sky God? And I want to say that I so much love that title for a book. Sounds quite compelling for a book title. Now, how does this book come about? What inspired you to write Gift of the Sky God? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I, I, write, uh, I write short stories. And I have like a, if you, uh, uh, you can check, uh, I have a website, uh, it's EliasABooks.store where you mm. can find, uh, you can find all my titles, mostly uh, the just, just short stories. I have a few paperbacks, but like, you know, I've been, I've been writing for a long time and I've mm. always, you know, I've always had a, a passion just, just to, just to create art, you know, and that's, yeah. and the, you know, and, and the, Put, put it put it out for other people to be able to experience it, you know. Yeah, that's quite amazing to know, and I love the sound of it. And again, I also see that you have another title in the name of the Legend of the Moonlight Meadow. You know, for readers who haven't read that yet, and of course, without giving much information away, could we have a sneak of what we'd expect picking up the book? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's another short story, and it's a, and I think I think it'll be in, I think it'll be intriguing for you to 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 read. And I think I don't want I don't want to go into too many spoilers, but it's mm. like a, we'll have another uh, and I've also just uh, recently um, I just recently been working on a a Steamboat Willie series. If you wow. if you would like to check that out as well, but like. Like once once again, if you check out my website, it's like it's a it's a lot it's a lot of works uh, Elias A works that you can check out if you like short stories. That sounds amazing, really, because while I check through your page, your auto page on Amazon, I see quite a lot of titles there, and even I saw some other ones that are translated to another language aside English. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I'm correct about that. Oh, oh yeah, which ones are? Uh... Oh yeah, which 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 titles which titles would you say caught your interest when you uh went through? <laughs> yeah, I think that would be Gift of the Sky God and of course the Legion of the Moonlight Meadow. Yeah. Elias, I was also gonna ask you, you know, as authors, we all have different ways of reacting to feedbacks and criticism of our works. I'm curious to know your opinion about criticism. How do you react to negative reviews of your books? If you've ever had one in time past, to be honest, I don't uh, I don't see too many negative reviews. But you know, like you know, and even even if I do get you know negative reviews, you know, like you know, it, it doesn't bother me. I'm just you know, I'm just an artist, and I just I just make art, yeah. and nothing gonna stop me from making art. No negative comments or reviews or nothing amazing to know really because i know that we authors have different ways of treating and reacting to criticism can people take it to art but some other people it might just be you know nothing you know it's it's, it's not an issue yeah so thank you for sharing i'm also curious to know if you experience any challenges in the process of writing your books if there is any could you share with us what challenge it is and how you ultimately overcame it uh, no, actually, it hasn't been too much challenge. You know, it's actually, it's actually been a, it's been a, been a fun process. Mm. It's been a fun process writing, writing my books, and and everything is is going, is going, is going, is going smoothly. Hasn't been much challenge there. You know. Yeah, that's amazing. Really, I'm excited to know about that. Now, Elias, apart from gift of the sky god. And legend of the Moonlight Me, though. Do you have any other works you've altered or maybe currently working on? Oh, oh yeah, yes. Uh I yes, I have a yes, yes, I, I currently have a um if you if you if you haven't seen uh my uh the Sefer Sereni uh series that uh 
I've I've completed uh the, the Sefer Sereni series. It's a wow. it's a short story series, and it follows it follows a particular family that th- along several generations. And I've re- I've released it as a paperback. But mm. fortunately, I don't have any copies with me right now. But and then I'm I'm working on uh working on another paperback, and I have a yeah, and I have a few different projects I'm working on. Wow. That's quite amazing to know that you're working on all this stuff at the same at a time. That's amazing, really. That's a lot of work you're doing over there. Yeah. Now, could you tell us what publishing is like for a published author like yourself? Also, are there any challenges you've encountered ever since it got published? Uh, no, uh, all of my books are uh, all all of my books are um uh, self published. So, like. Oh. So I've been doing all the publishing myself. I haven't had to work through any third party or anything. So so it's been it's pretty it's been a it's been a smooth it's been more of a smooth process being an mm. independent author, you know. That's amazing. I can relate to it really. Now, Elias, is there anything that you would love to share with the viewers about your books that we did not mention in this interview? And you'd love the viewers to know. Well, it's like uh yeah, here's the uh yeah, as you can see, uh got uh 30, 38 titles up here. Mm. Uh and here's a uh, here, here's the Sefer Sereni uh collection. It's uh this it's also uh is this it's a Kindle. That's what I was also, saying. That's what I was saying. Sorry to cut you off. That's what I was saying. That I saw some title that does not look English. As well. Yeah, that one looks like it's a German language. Is it, do, do you have translated version? Oh, it's English. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I thought it's German. Uh, no, I don't know. It's not German. It's uh, no, it's not German. It's not. It's not. Uh, I for, I for, to be honest, I forgot what language it is, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe but it's yes, italy then, uh, really yeah yeah yes. this gift and of then, god uh, that's amazing and then here's my uh steamboat willie uh a, a series that i've just recently uh re- just recently Published. been work working on uh, and so so yeah yeah 30 38 titles uh Wow. Mostly, mo- mostly, most, mostly Kindle books. I Kindle versions. That, uh, yeah, yes, yes. Mo- I'll just have the one uh, paper book back right now, but yes. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. You're Thanks. welcome back. Thanks for sharing us the screen and sharing us the body of your work. That's intriguing. Thanks for sharing. Uh, yes, I'm I'm glad to be able to share it, you know. Yeah. Now, I'd love to ask you, you know, as a published author, what sort of advice do you have for other writers who are still struggling with publishing a book? What would you advise people in this category? Uh, well, my, my advice would just be like, you know, just just do the research and see what would be like the best method for you mm, to yeah. get your book published because the you know it might be a different process Absolutely. for everybody and it's yeah. different the different ways to do things you know now I'd advise you to just do the research to find what works best for you mm. you know that's in case we have viewers who are currently watching this interview and they would like to get a copy of your book on what platform are they available on for purchase uh, they're all on Amazon. They're all on Amazon, and they're always and they're all uh they're all available on my website eliasabooks.store. You can find them on Amazon and my website. That's amazing. And I left a link in the description part of this interview where interested viewers can get a copy of Elias A Books directly on Amazon. So thank you so much, Elias, for accepting the invitation to be featured on P English Literature. It's awesome having this conversation with you. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it was nice. It was nice, nice, nice talking to you, P English. Yeah, <laughs> thank you.